Mm -hmm. I'm going to play two short videos, Lady Ada, and then you're going to talk about the two designs that uh, we're posting up. That's a secret. Yes. So I'm here we go. Take it away past us. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? This is a uh, ESP32 Feather V2, and I've swapped out the CP2102N or CP2102104 uh, with a uh, WCH chip called the CH. 9102, you can see the WCH logo there. And it's a pin compatible version of a USB to York converter. It uses different drivers. It's not like a complete direct clone. Um, so you'll need new drivers, but it's pin compatible. And um, I was just testing it with um, uploading code to um, this ESP board at high speed. So I want to make sure it works at um, the high speed we use, which is uh, 921 kilobaud. Um, this is more info about this chip. It's kind of new, but this is great because I'm having some difficulty getting enough CP2102. So this means I can keep the hardware in stock. We're going to make it through this chip shortage together. So see this update soon in the shop. Hello, Lady Ada, what is this? This is a very interesting USB cable. It's got USB-C on one end and then a 2.1, 2.5 millimeter DC barrel jack on the other. And if you look, it says here 12 volt 5 amp. It actually has a USB PD chip inside here molded in so that when this is plugged into an adapter like this one, and you can see here that this one can provide um, a various different voltages like 9, 12, 15, 20, which is perfect because those are the cables I have. Um, and then if I plug that into here, and then I plug the cable in like so, then on this end, I can measure in a nice clean 12, so a little more than 12 volts. I actually measured this on the scope and I'm, I put on my load meter and I got three amps out of it easily. So, cause that's the max I could get on my load meter. Um, so this is a pretty cool cable. We'll have these in various voltages, 9, 12, 15, 20 in the Adafruit store soon. All right, lady, what's this? This is a breakout based on the same chip in that USB PD cable that, um, I think will allow you to close some jumpers to select how much current and voltage you'd like to request from a USB CPD uh, power supply. And so we'll try that out. It could be a handy little board. Um, and then, uh, you know, I got these samples of ultra wideband um, indoor positioning modules and um, they would make for a great little feather wing because you need a processor and they use SPI and they need a bunch of components. So I put together a quick uh, feather wing design. That's top secret.